Hey guys, Adam here. Uh, just a quick update on some things. Um, I have shot last week's episode of Gotham. Um, I, I did. Uh, still being edited. I didn't get to shoot it until this week. But I have not shot the other ones. Uh, I actually said in that uh, in that video I will not be doing any more Constantine or uh, Star Wars Rebels reviews just because I'm actually incredibly busy. Uh, I got I'm still looking for a job, and also the semester is almost over with, and it's just kind of one of those things that I need to focus on schoolwork and everything else. So I've just not been able to have the time to do it, but I will get last week's episode last week's review up uh, I'm gonna it's 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 on it's being edited it's just I haven't bothered doing anything else with it I'll get it rendered I'll get it up online then I'll uh, shoot this week's episode and I'll also shoot uh, the my flash review and agents of shield I will keep doing those just because those are shows I will be doing also um, another update is uh, I haven't been reviewing Arrow, uh, again, mostly because it is in its third season. I just feel like I, I don't want to go through all the um, all the storylines of that show and all that. But I will make one exception in a couple of weeks because what we are going to be getting soon is, the, is our first... Uh, our first official Flash Green Arrow crossover, uh, which will start with, um, which will start with uh, the Flash of that week, where Green Arrow goes to Central City to uh, and teams up with the Flash, which will be that that awesome uh, superhero versus superhero fight, uh, something I, I do enjoy. Um, uh, um, uh, which would be cool. I, I do. I mean, and even though I again going back to the world's finest movie, I do. I, that's something I don't. I'm not particularly fond of with how what they're doing with that movie. But I feel like it. It works. It's going to work here because we already have these characters established. Uh, but anyway, uh, beyond that, and then I will review the Arrow Flash crossover, which will debut the day after. Uh, which will have Flash going to Star uh, Starling City to team up with Arrow to stop uh, Captain Boomerang, who is actually who, even though he's debuting on Arrow, is actually a Flash villain. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, so I will. So again, I will get I will get all that done. I promise. I really do. I will try everything I possibly can to get it up. I, 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 I will. I, I, I swear. I swear I will get everything. Um, uh, next is actually something really, really important. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, did a video uh, talking about the Marvel press conference, which, if I'm correct, was still going on while I was shooting the video. Um... And I had said, one of the first things I had said was Benedict Cumberbatch had been casted as Doctor Strange, or at least uh, was in final negotiations. Um, I want to say I may have jumped the gun a little bit, just 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 a little bit, um, because, uh, because it was just one of those things I was super excited about. I was happy because the, my ideal, my, one of my favorite actors of this of this last of these last ten years, is playing a really cool character that I enjoy, and uh, recently he was just being interviewed at last night's HFA's. Um, hang on. Um, at uh, great. I know. Uh, at this this year's Hollywood uh, Film Awards, uh, he was being interviewed, and he had and uh, the interviewer had mentioned um had mentioned um uh that he was playing a superhero and Benedict Cumberbatch says I don't know about that. I you might want to check your notes. Now this the reason why I want to apologize is, is because I was jumping the gun. 
how, but just a little bit. And the reason why I say a little bit is because Benedict Cumberbatch is known for being very, very, very coy about things. Uh, this is actually not the first time he's done something like that. Um, he actually did it with um, uh, back at Comic Con uh, when he was doing a panel for Penguins of Madagascar. He actually made a passing on Doctor Strange, which a lot of people were thinking that he that they were going to announce his casting at the, at the Marvel panel at Comic Con this year, and they didn't. Um, but he, but here he is, he's again being coy. He's being very, very coy uh, because it is still in the fi final negotiations. It hasn't been officially released. It hasn't been officially stated. Um, and that's something I just want to apologize for on my part because I actually said it was official. Final negotiations is I mean, people are saying it's just final negotiations, so we're gonna, so we're just gonna go with that. Hopefully, he, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, there will be a deal made uh, because he, again, I, this is like one of those characters, one of these actors I really want to see in a superhero movie. He's one of the those actors uh, that I, I really, really enjoy, no matter what he's in. I, I mean, I'm really super excited for The Hobbit. Uh, Battle of Five Armies because we get to because more likely the first hour is going to be him just being awesome, being uh, seeing Smog awesome, just hearing his voice just being really really amazing and I, and I I'm a, and I'll have uh, I'll have reviews for uh, for the first two Hobbit movies up soon because I don't, because and believe me like Desolation Smog I'm going to be talking a lot about about Benedict Cumberbatch's performance in that uh, but yeah like I said he's just being coy. Uh, nothing has been officially stated until Marvel has said something. I, pro I probably won't uh, believe it until Kevin Feige actually says something. All right, when, when the moment when it says Kevin Feige confirms Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, then I will do a video about that and say that is official. Um, uh, <clears throat> next, I want to talk about... Uh, uh, world's finest. Um, recently, there was uh, uh, a few, uh, several months ago, there was uh, leaked photos, and I won't post them because they are leaked. They aren't official photos. Um, the official photo uh, or leaked photos? Sorry, leaked photos of uh, of a group of people carrying a portrait, a, a large portrait of uh, of a man with a mustache, graying hair. Just a very older person, uh, and people believe this is that this is a portrait of Thomas Wayne, which uh, more than likely it is. It it is very. I I'm in I'm inclined to believe this is Thomas Wayne because like Tom, uh, with a mustache, graying hair, that's usually the look of Thomas Wayne. That's usually the that is, people usually consider that the official look of Thomas Wayne. Uh, which is uh, even a look I'm, I, I usually associate with when it comes to Bruce Wayne's parents. Um, the thing is, though, uh, what's interesting about that portrait is who it actually looks like. Which is, and everyone says it's Jeffrey D. Morgan. Uh, for those of you, you who don't know who that is, He's uh, best known for playing the comedian in uh, in the Watchmen film, which is a movie I, which is one of my favorite comic book movies, uh, comic book adaptations. Uh, and he did, and he's he was also hands down one of my favorite characters in that in that story, and also in the movie. Um, and Jeffrey D. Morgan did a phenomenal job as that character. Seeing, it, knowing that if he is playing Thomas Wayne, uh, and this was something I actually completely forgot about. That's why I'm mentioning it now. Um, I am. I was 100% pleased with if if Jeffrey D. Morgan is playing Thomas Wayne, uh, and they actually and it's not just like a portrait, and they actually show him. I'm 100% fine with that. I I believe that's perfect casting. I believe that's fantastic casting. Um. Uh, also, um, but recently, uh, more leaked photos. And again, I'm not going to post it because they're leaked. I, I just don't want to. I don't want to go through any of the legal shit or anything. Um, 
I'm not I'm not gonna do like what I did with the Batmobile, although I got away with that somehow. Well, okay, I can understand why. Uh, but um, what happened with that is um, is uh, they showed uh, leaked photos of what what we know to be the murder of the Waynes. Uh, they actually showed pictures of the guy with the gun. There was even one, somehow someone got on top of train tracks where there was a hole right, right above the guy, <laughs> right above where the shooter is, which I kind of questioned that. I questioned that. Like, if, if you don't believe me, go on comicbookmovie.com, try to find the article. The picture is there. How, whoever did that, it was able to get away with it without being noticed. Good on you, man. You, you got one hell of an eye. Uh, you got one hell of an eye. You're really stealthy. I, I, gotta, I, I gotta commend you for that. Um, um, uh, also, um, also, uh, but they also showed the the Waynes, what the Waynes are going to look like. But because it's leaked photos and because it wasn't up close, it was very, very far away, I couldn't tell who it was. I, I couldn't tell who the actors were. If it is Jeffrey D. Morgan, good. I'm glad. I'm glad it is. Uh, but I do want to say one thing about the Waynes murder. Uh, if it's going to be like a flashback, like in the way of uh, Tim Burns, uh, the way Tim Byrne did it, fine. I actually approve of that. But if they're actually going to recreate the whole murder, uh, like they, like like in the way that Batman Begins did. I mean, even though that movie's almost ten years old, uh, I really don't think that's something we necessarily need. To be honest, um, not not. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not. This isn't me trying to complain on, oh, they're just repeating. No, it's just, we, at the, I mean, at this point, at this point, I just feel like we all know how they die. We all know. Uh, when, when, when t Christopher Nolan did it, that was just because we were trying to get the popularity of Batman back. That was just an attempt to get the popularity of Batman back, and it worked. Batman's already the most popular superhero around. Like I have, I can't, I can't go anywhere without hearing how amazing Batman is. Uh, which there is truth to that. Um, uh, hell, there's hell. Like a majority of people in my English class were going, oh yeah, like wanted wants to do a paper about how amazing Batman is. Um, but uh, it's just, I mean, if it's just a very quick flashback, fine. I, I, I approve of that. I think. That's like that's usually kind of how I like to uh, 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 when whenever I come up with a, my own way to do a Batman movie or something like that. That's how I would do it is and not do like an origin story because we've already, we already got that. But do like have him like go through like nightmares of his parents' murder, which is something I really like because it's something he actually go suffers through like almost on a day a nightly basis. It's just reliving his parents' murder, uh, which it, again, it's just one of those things I really, really like. Um, but yeah, if it is Jeffrey D. Morgan as Thomas Wayne, fantastic. I I, I approve. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. There was something else. Um, oh yes. Um, also, uh, Fantastic Four news. This actually became a bit of a shit storm. Uh, um, uh, and here's why. Uh, Toby Cabell, who is playing Doctor Doom, actually recently revealed some tidbits about him, saying that Doctor Doom will be a little be played a little bit differently than he was in like the Tim Story movies. Um, saying that he will be a anti-social programmer, uh, and he, um, hang on, Toby Cabell. Uh, did say uh, Co Toby Cabell, who's playing Doctor Doom in the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, uh, and this is what he says: um, Toby Cabell will be playing a computer programmer named Victor Domashev, and he will use the blogger ID Doom. Uh, a lot of people, and um, it's just basically saying he's an antisocial programmer. 
Um, for a split, for a very small amount of time, I was actually on the fence on this. I was very much going, what, what the fuck are they doing with this character? Because this is a character who is very, very well known. He's, he, I mean, he's, um, he's, he's, uh, uh, like one of the most fearsome care, uh, villains in the Marvel Universe. Uh, just, I mean, everyone, everyone's fought, like, a anyone who's anyone in the Marvel Universe has fought Doctor Doom. Um, because he's just that amazing, he's just that menacing of a character. Um, so why make him a computer programmer? Well, that was until I started reading some of the comments, and it then made me start thinking on how it was worded, how it was phrased, and a lot of that. And it, I've come to realize maybe he's fucking with us. Maybe he is. Um, maybe he is completely fucking with us, uh, and that he is that him being an antisocial programmer. Him having an ID tag named, uh, being a blogger named Doom is actually him saying to all the people, all the people on the internet who are who are automatically denouncing this movie, saying it's already already t saying this movie's gonna fucking suck or this movie already fucking sucks. They need to call them their tits. <laughs> um, they they need to they need to just calm the fuck down. And that they need to get over it and get alive. Um, I don't know how I feel about that since I'm one of those guys that feels like this is not gonna. That I'm, I'm just not. I'm not super excited about this movie. I mean, I'm not going to automatically say this movie fucking sucks. I'm not. Um, I, I am indeed. I have. I don't have any confidence in it. I, I'm. I'm worried about it, uh, especially casting decisions. Um, it's it's just one of those things. It's just I I grew up with Fantastic Four. My my dad is a Fantastic Four fan. Uh, he is. Uh, he I mean, he grew up with it, and uh, I just feel, and he and I just feel like it's just it, and I just, he they they could do they could do more with this. Like they're they're making very comic book accurate X Men movies uh, to a degree. Um, but from what it looks like here, they're not doing it with Fantastic Four. But we'll see. We'll find out soon. But yeah, uh, Toby Cabell just basically saying that. Um, take it with a grain of salt, guys. Uh, definitely don't don't go and don't automatically start hating on Toby Cabell um, because I think I find him to be a very very good actor. Uh, especially his perform again his performance in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was fantastic. Uh, even though you don't see his face or anything, you, you, but you, but he did a fantastic job. He, uh, Koba was hands down my favorite character. It's hands down one of my favorite characters of this year, uh, movie characters of this year. Uh, I mean, who knows? I may do a uh, top ten list on that or something like that. But anyway, but yeah, uh, just guys, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, definitely take what he says with a grain of salt uh, until we find out more. Um, Net, uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, uh, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman directors. Uh, a lot of people are saying that Wonder Brothers is trying to get a lot of female uh, female directors for Wonder Woman, um, which is fine. Uh, actually, I am one hundred percent okay with that. But from what I am on, from what I'm hearing is they're getting nothing but female directors. Like they believe. Only a female director can can direct a Wonder Woman movie, which is where I kind of go. That's not necessarily true. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to be sexist or anything. I'm not saying a woman can't direct a Wonder Woman movie. I have seen plenty of good, really good movies directed by uh, women. Hell, um, one of my uh, biggest guilty pleasures is Punisher War Zone. Uh, a lot of people hate that movie. I'm not one of them. It was directed by a woman, and I had a fucking blast with that movie because it was so fun. It was so. It was just one of those dumb B movies, and it was directed by a woman, and I had a blast at it. Uh, and she was actually on the short list of of that uh, for Wonder Woman, but she turned it down. Uh, she actually turned it down. Uh, one of the other lists. Uh, one of the other front runners is Catherine Hardwick. 
who for you for those who don't know who she is she she directed Twilight. She directed the first Twilight, and I. Um, but she also directed a real, two really good movies that I really really like. Is Do Lords of Dogtown, uh, which starred Heath Ledger, and he. Oh man, I, that movie's great. Uh, but she also directed The Nativity Story, which. Uh, she was able to portray, uh, uh, which is uh, of course the story of the birth of Jesus, and he and she did a fantastic job she really did so i so if she does direct wonder woman i'm 50 50 on on that choice just because she directed the uh, the nativity story which is actually i i don't i'm not big on biblical movies uh except for a few but nativity story is one of those movies where i one of those biblical movies i really 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 like uh, but she also directed Twilight, which I really, really fucking hate. Um, with a fiery fucking passion. Um, so, who knows? Uh, but also, they, they, um, I can't remember her name. Please help me out with this, guys. Um, although, I'll probably look it up and just put it on, just put it in post-production. Um, fuck. The person who... St who directed Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark is also apparently on that short list. Now, I've never seen the I've never seen the production, but I've seen I've seen clips. Uh, I've read reports. I've even looked up uh, behind the scenes things. I've even seen reviews. And it was a fucking disaster. And at this point, everyone knows about the injuries. Everyone knows about the production problems and all that. And and what happened to it after it after it finally debuted? And it was just a fucking disaster. It, everyone hated on it, uh, just because it's just one of those things. And it turns out the uh, and again I can't remember her name. She made this, and she and from what I from what I heard, I could be wrong. She actually openly said she didn't give a shit about Spider-Man. She said she doesn't give a shit about Spider-Man. And she made this. Normally when people uh, direct a movie, uh, especially based on very well-known, very established characters, very beloved characters, and they, say, and they openly say they don't give a shit, that doesn't get gain anyone confidence on on your abilities. That that doesn't. I'm, um, uh, which is why I usually try and stay away from characters that I don't really care about. Uh, but I do. But I at least try my best. Um, which doesn't give me confidence in Wonder Woman if she is chosen. Uh, I don't know what her th thoughts are on Wonder Woman. Uh, she's never said. Uh, but. If she doesn't give a shit about Spider-Man, and again, I will more likely be wrong and I will publicly apologize, um, but for now I won't. Um, if she doesn't give a shit about Spider-Man, what if she doesn't give a shit about Wonder Woman and she still takes this job? I would feel very... I would not have any confidences. I am as bad enough... I don't really have any confidence in how D Warner Brothers is handling the current slate of movies, uh, how the, uh, how they revealed it. I had no confidence in. I just felt like Warner Brothers is not doing their really doing their job on that. And I'm and uh, I'll probably and one day I'll do a complete review uh, or just do my uh, full on my thoughts on that uh maybe in the future maybe during holiday break i will but i don't if she is chosen i have no confidence i will have no confidence i will have more confidence with Catherine hardwick directing wonder woman than i would with this person because i at least know Catherine hardwick hardwick has done good movies i am at least aware of that I at least have seen a couple of movies where I can go, yes, she can do this movie. This person, from what I have seen of Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, I have no confidence. Now, yes, I know, a Broadway musical is a completely different, is completely different from making a Hollywood movie. I get that. But 
again, it just doesn't give me any confidence. Um, but yeah, that's about it on on that. And there was something else. There. Um, uh, hold on. Um, sorry, my computer's slow because I got a bunch of shit on here. Um, Oh yeah. Uh, also, real quick, uh, Marvel has just hired uh, cast uh, Daniel Brühl to for a villainous role for Captain America: Civil War. Uh, however, it's not uh, it's not stated who he is playing now. Daniel Brühl uh, was in uh, the movies he's been in are *Inglorious Bastards*, which great movie I enjoy it so. So if he's playing a Nazi, it works. Um, but he was also in *Rush*, which is, which is that uh, Formula One movie with uh, that, that starred uh, Chris Hemsworth, um, uh, of course Thor. Um, so I, I mean. Which I haven't seen. My parents did, and they and they thought it was fantastic. They thought it was an excellent movie. Uh, I wanted to see. I just never did. Uh, I think it's because I wanted to go see Gravity that that week uh, instead. But um, oh, okay. Um, also, it, however, it uh, it says here on the article. However, it's also being reported that he may be Doctor Strange's lead villain as well. So if I'm going to say, like, if it is a lead villain uh, for Doctor Strange, Baron Mordo, more likely. But uh, a lot of people, uh, for whatever, but it, but he's playing, uh, he's going to be playing a villain. Uh, but he will be playing a Marvel villain. Uh, who We don't know who it is, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I may have to watch... Uh, I'll watch Rush. I hear he's really good in it, but I'll also I'll have to watch Inglorious Bastards again just to, uh, just to know uh, if I can remember who he played in that movie because because that's an ensemble movie. It's just one of those one of those movies where you have to like like go, oh, look, look who it is, look who it is, look who it is. Uh, kind of kind of characters there um, that's um, that's it uh, I do want to talk about Star Wars but uh, I may do that later uh, I do but I do want to talk about it. I do I feel like I I'm one of those people that I didn't talk about it but I've already talked on enough about this so I will talk more about it later after I get this up and I get uh, this week's uh, or in the last week's Gotham up online. Um, like I said, I've talked way too much already, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now. Um, until and so, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, until then, y'all have a wonderful day. Um, bye.